Hello, dear friends. Today, we are with you with one of the most important and dangerous infrastructure projects in Afghanistan, Salong Tunnel and Salong Highway, the reconstruction work of which has started again. The path that connects the economic and communication heart of Afghanistan. Today, we will go to this project with you and we will have a close look at the workflow. Salang Tunnel, one of the longest and most important tunnels in the country, is in the spotlight again. The officials of this project closely monitor the workflow and put a lot of emphasis on speeding up this operation. You may ask, why so much rush to complete the work? The reason for this rush is very clear. Salang Highway, as you know, is one of the most dangerous routes in Afghanistan in terms of geographical and weather conditions. Very cold winters and heavy snowfall in this area make it very difficult. For this reason, the officials want to complete the work before the winter season. Every year, especially in the winter season, heavy snowfalls occur on the Salang Highway, and the height of the snow sometimes reaches three to six meters. This issue causes that many times, this road is closed to traffic. Now imagine if the renovation work is stopped under these conditions, the completion of the project will be delayed until next spring. Fortunately, the work inside the Salang tunnels is almost finished, and now the main focus is on the outer parts of this project. Work has been going on this highway for two years ago, and this project is considered one of the biggest reconstruction operations in Afghanistan. In the northern and southern parts of the highway, works are going on simultaneously. But it is interesting to know that the work of the central Salang tunnel was finished last year, and this year, with the completion of 16 new galleries, the project is in its final stages. Three more galleries are currently being completed. One of the unique features of this project is that this time, Salang Highway will be built in a basic and modern way. The engineers of this project have assured that this highway will last at least 25 years. After that, it may need to be rebuilt again. Another interesting point is that all the consumables in this project are made in Afghanistan. Rebar wires, concrete, and other equipment are all procured from domestic mines and factories in Afghanistan. This shows the self-sufficiency of the country in the field of construction materials and will be very important for the domestic economy of Afghanistan. Large iron mines and cement production factories in Afghanistan have provided the need for this project, and somehow this project has become a symbol of the country's internal development and progress. We hope that with the final completion of this project, the people of Afghanistan will be able to benefit from more security and prosperity in this direction. Dear friends, due to the difficult conditions of this region, many workers are working day and night to complete this project before the winter season. Here, we see some workers carefully carrying out road construction and reconstruction operations. These renovations seem necessary due to the harsh weather conditions and wear and tear caused by the long-term use of this route. Salong is one of the mountainous regions with a high altitude, and in the winter season, crossing this route is associated with many challenges. One of the interesting points about this project is the use of advanced equipment and intensive efforts to speed up the reconstruction operation. Here you can see the Salong Tunnel, which is one of the longest tunnels on this road. This tunnel plays a vital role in reducing the distance and travel time between the north and south of the country, and its reconstruction will have a direct impact on improving transportation and the economy of Afghanistan. The workers seen here are working hard to finish this project as soon as possible. Their warm clothes and protective equipment indicate preparation for working in harsh conditions. Heavy machinery is still at work here, and the project is progressing in an industrial and planned manner. Along with this project, the development of road infrastructure in Afghanistan is considered as one of the priorities of the country's reconstruction. Roads like the Salang Highway, which are known as the country's economic arteries, play a key role in facilitating transportation and also help improve the living conditions of local people. Salang Tunnel has always been one of the most challenging parts of this road. The reconstruction and strengthening of this tunnel will help to reduce possible risks, such as heavy snowfalls in winter, and will increase the safety of drivers and passengers. As mentioned, this project is of great importance in terms of infrastructure, and it has created employment for hundreds of people in this area. Afghan workers and engineers are working day and night to make this highway operational as soon as possible. The reconstruction and strengthening of the Salang Highway 
will help the people of this region and all of Afghanistan to improve commercial and transportation connections and to keep the roads open and safe in cold and snowy winters. In addition, the use of domestic materials, such as rebar wires and concrete produced in Afghanistan, shows an approach that not only focuses on the development of the country's infrastructure, but also emphasizes the strengthening of domestic production and the use of national resources. After completion, this highway will be a clear example of Afghanistan's internal capabilities in implementing large projects. Forecasts show that with the final completion of this project, the Salang Highway will continue to work for the next 25 years without the need for major reconstruction. This will allow the people of Afghanistan to benefit from more security and peace in this strategic route. We are waiting for this big and important project for the people of Afghanistan to be completed and another step to improve the infrastructure of the country. The efforts of engineering teams and workers to improve the condition of the Salang Highway are a sign of commitment to the reconstruction and development of Afghanistan. We hope that this project will be completed as soon as possible and that the people of Afghanistan will benefit from its benefits. Until next time, bye.